What is a constitutional monarchy? In a constitutional monarchy, a country's political system is headed by a king or queen, except for Japan, which is the only country with a reigning emperor. A constitutional monarchy is essentially a system where the head of state comes to that position through inheritance, being part of the ruling royal family. They reign, but they do not rule. That is to say, they have ceremonial, but not political power. And that's the classic model that Great Britain essentially developed in the 19th century. A constitutional monarchy is different to an absolute monarchy. In fact, they're the opposite. An absolute monarchy has total power over the government and the people. In a constitutional monarchy, the monarch is the head of state, but political power is shared between the monarch and an organised government. The ability to make and pass legislation sits with an elected parliament, such as the Australian parliament. There are currently 43 constitutional monarchies around the world. This includes countries such as the United Kingdom, Monaco, Sweden, Malaysia, Morocco, Canada and Australia. You know, royal families can pretend to be like everybody else. And we all know stories of the Queen of the Netherlands going and doing her shopping, the King of Sweden driving to work in his own car. But even in the most democratic of countries, you can't actually deny the reality that to retain a royal family is to retain some sense of inherited importance and inherited prestige. But does this make a monarchy more elitist than other systems? If we look at countries that don't have monarchies, it's hard to argue that they somehow have less of a class system. Uh, in the United States, look at the number of senators, for example, who are millionaires. So I think, yes, I find the feudal remnants of monarchy somewhat objectionable, but I think they're probably no more objectionable than oligarchies anywhere else in the world. That doesn't mean monarchies are on their way out. I think that um, if one looks at the countries that have retained monarchies, there is a sense in which people value the stability, in which people identify the monarch as standing for the country in a way that no politician actually is able to do.